now. Hi, I'm Cody Mooney. And I'm Nick Romeo. We did our presentation on the motion anger. For our presentation, we will address the introduction followed by research questions. After that, we will address a literature review and inter interview results. And we will talk about theories and defining anger from other disciplines. We will then discuss the items required to measure anger in other disciplines and items required to measure anger in the sports fan perspective. After this, we will be defining the concept and talking about the research trend. After we talk about discussion, we will be concluding the presentation with a conclusion and references. Why anger? We chose to look at anger because it is looked at as a key emotion in a lot of diehard sports fans. How can anger be defined? This, def this the definition I found, I thought went hand in hand with the topic of anger in sports fans. This is pretty much what makes a traditional sports fan angry. We get upset and mad when somebody else who happens to be on our favorite team messes up. We have found that there are many ways to measure anger. There are many ways to be able to measure the amount of anger in the behavior of a sport consumer. These can be from the way their favorite team is playing. For fans at live contests, it is fairly easy to tell if they have anger or not from their reactions, but social media is another way to measure the anger as well. For, re for our research questions, we will be asking three questions in order to learn more about anger in relation to sports. Our first question that we will be asking is, how do you measure anger in fans? Our second question that we will be asking is, how do you define anger? Our third question we will be asking is, how does anger in fans affect a team's organization? Many sports have been known to lead to fighting of rival teams. Fighting and anger can come as a result of many things. Basking in the reflected glory of successful others is when people attach themselves to a team. When they talk about a team, they commonly use the word we. Relying on the success of others is stress-inducing and can lead to angrily outbursts. Tension often comes as a result from sports. With sport fans being so tense about their team, tension can lead to anger quite easily if their team does bad. Elevated status and meaning is when someone makes something feel far more important than it should be. This amount of importance can lead to anger when results do not go their way. Perceptions of unfairness is when someone finds things unfair when a result does not go their way. An example of this would be a goal being disallowed for being offsides in the final few minutes of a soccer game. Secondary gain is when a game has a second importance to a person such as gambling or fantasy sports. Their team losing could financially destroy a person. For our interviews, we decided to go with asking some tra traditional sports fans our research questions about the emotion anger. When we asked how do you measure anger in fans, the answers we got varied from using gestures to social media and basically any opinionated take from a fan's perspective. For our next question, we asked, how do you define anger? A few interesting answers came from this question as the fans said, bottled up rage, outcome of a trigger, and even an emotional roller coaster. For our final interview question, we asked, how can the anger of fans affect an organization as a whole? The most common response we got with this answer was basically just keying in on how the support of fans can easily dwindle and lead to bad business for the organization. For our theories, we decided to take a look at three unique ones. Our first theory is the recalibration theory of anger by Aaron Sell. This theory basically states that anger stems from natural selection. Our second theory is frustration aggression hypothesis by John Dollard, Neil Miller, Leonard Dube, Orville Maurer, and Robert Sears. This theory basically states that aggression is a result of a person's efforts to attaining a goal being blocked. Our third theory is the cognitive neo-association theory of aggression by Leonard Berkowitz. This theory explains how certain experiences can lead to the feeling of aggressiveness. The definition of recalibration theory of anger is that natural selection is what designed anger in order to bargain for better treatment of a person. Human anger is similar to animal anger in which animals become angry and hostile when they feel threatened. During a conflict, a person considers a cost-benefit transaction. 
Based on the figures shown, an angered person will feel like they are entitled to some kind of trade-off, thus triggering anger. The frustration aggression hypothesis was originally created for the studies of hate crimes and scapegoating. It was indicted that during an economic crisis, people with frustration are likely to lash out on a social target, usually a minority group. This was disproven in a few years shown to lead to many more responses than just aggression. The theory states that there are several reasons as to why people place anger on the socially convenient victims. It helps express aggression and prejudicial attitudes and more rational than blatant violence. This hypothesis has been widely criticized. For theory three, we did the cognitive neo-association theory of aggression. Anger-related experiences are not different kinds of anger. They are all just variations of it. Anger is also known to be produced by decidedly adversive events. Anger approach motivation is also shown to be focused on doing injury to another person. And these are this is the definition from other disciplines. Medical, emotional state ranging from mild irritation to intense fury and rage. Has physical effects including high blood pressure and increased heart rate. Or, and it also increases the levels of adrenaline and noradrenaline. And for psychology, anger is acting negatively towards a person or thing that you feel has done you wrong on purpose. Anger is not always a bad thing as it helps a person express their feelings. For items to measure anger, we looked at state trait anger expression inventory two. State anger is the intensity and extent to which a person expresses anger at a certain time. Feeling angry is how intense the anger is that a person is experiencing presently. Feel like expressing anger verbally is the intensity of the current feelings to express the anger verbally. Feel like expressing physically is how intense a person's current feelings are in order to express anger in a physical manner. Trait anger is the amount of time anger is experienced over a certain period of time. Angry temperament is how likely a person is to experience anger without anyone or anything provoking them. Angry re reaction is the amount of times that a person experienced anger in situations including frustration and or negative experiences. Angry expression out is the amount of times a person expresses aggressiveness verbally or physically. Angry expression in is the frequency of which a person experiences anger but does not express it. Angry control out is the frequency of which a person controls their external anger. Angry control in is the frequency of a person trying to calm down in order to combat their anger. Angry expression index is a general index of anger expression. Another item of anger is uh, the clinical anger scale. And it, that is a scale that measures anger now, anger about the future, anger about failure anger about things, angry hostile feelings, annoying others, angry about self and angry misery, wanting to hurt others, shouting at people, irritated now, social interference, decision interference, alienating others, work interference, sleep interference, fatigue, appetite interference, health interference, thinking interference, and sexual interference. The test has a score range of zero to 63, with each question's choices ranging from zero to three. Now, taking a look from a sports fan perspective, here are some different reasons for there to be an angry fan. You can be angry from someone talking bad about your team to hating one of your team rivals, to even just being mad at your own team for not winning the big game or just not playing good in general. Defining the concept of anger can be quite difficult. Anger is generally characterized by the feeling of annoyance, displeasure, and antagonism. Anger will often, will often be also defined in three ways. These are passive aggressive, aggressive, and assertive. There are also many complexities that come with the way that the sports fan or anyone in general may react in a situation that brings out anger. Well, these are the internal factors for our research trend. When your favorite team performs badly or loses, your brain can produce a chemical known as cortisol. Cortisol is a chemical that is generally released from your body when you are feeling stressed. Associated with this, the brain might produce less serotonin than usual, leading to an increased amount of anger. 
The adrenaline from the games are also known to increase our heart rate, making it easier for us to get angry or upset at something. It is also known that enjoying fighting is in our nature, making us enjoy certain sports and sometimes mimicking these actions of fighting. This is an external factor for our research, Jen. Alcohol can have an impact on anger. The more someone drinks, the easier it may be for them to become angry or upset. Rivalries between teams can also lead to aggression. When our team performs badly against our rivals, we can become angrier easier. There are also many situation factors that can impact fans becoming angry. These include the day of the week for the game, the venue for the game, the time or the stat of the game, the size of the crowd, and the size of the away fans in the stadium. Another external factor is how a fan's team performs versus the fan's expectations of how their team should perform. A fan might get angry if they go into the game expecting their team to easily win, and their team ends up getting beat easily. A fan might also easily become angry if they see violence that they view as unfair in the game. Say a player might foul another player, but the ref does not call foul. This might lead to fans becoming upset. Here on the discussion slide, we just wanted to kind of break down anger and some of the reasoning behind getting angry from the fan perspective. Most of these factors that were included are teams not doing well, ticket or merchandise prices very, being very high, and one that is not seen quite as often, but if a fan base just does not feel appreciated by their team. For conclusion, basically with this presentation, we have we have come to the conclusion that more studies are needed on measuring anger in the sports context. Anger can have a negative impact on sports and that the amount of anger in fans definitely needs to be reduced. And that's it, here's our references.